We were approached by Brookfield when they were doing Design Hive in LA. And we're like, Design Hive? You know, what does that mean? It's a competition between four uh, design firms. The effort is for each firm to create the office of the future. They were looking at reimagining what the spec office suite can be in Houston and really establish a more progressive design ethos moving forward. So we jumped on board. Who doesn't want to do experimental suites, kind of friendly competition with your neighbor firms? Absolutely. The really interesting part of this is not just the ideas of the office of the future, it's how do you get there and keep it under a reasonable budget. Our project managers are working very closely with their designers and their architects, and uh, there's a lot of collaboration because we want to make sure we're building it exactly the way they want it. It was definitely a different approach. There was no real set parameters, no clients, so we had a lot of freedom and really got to explore kind of some new concepts that maybe we couldn't do in other projects. I think this is an opportunity for architects to take a look at how are people going to be working in the future, what are the things that are important, how can we then best represent that through physical space. The world is changing all the time and we're seeing that. You know, people work anywhere, any place, any time. I can send everybody here home. We all have FaceTime, we all have phones and iPads and computers, and a lot of the collaboration can be done technologically. At the end of the day, I've got to create a space that is exciting enough that's going to get you to say, I'm going to go through Houston traffic and come to this office because it's exciting, it's fun, I can do real-time collaboration, and I get something out of it. Every time you walk into one of these spaces, there's gonna be a wow factor. And when you get to that space, there is an opportunity to really have a creative workplace. Houston historically has been a little bit more conservative, but we're seeing that change. The city is becoming younger. There's a huge workforce that's coming in that wants something very progressive. The ruins becoming more mobile, and so it's really a huge mixed-use environment that we're creating. All four of them are on the same floor, and each one of them has come up with their own imprint of what they think the future is going to be. It's 42 feet from the core to the outside. It's got punch windows. It's got your standard, you know, 13 foot floor to floor ceiling height. So, in that context, what kind of cool things can you do? bringing all of these design firms into one place. I mean, it's really kind of unheard of. Well, it doesn't shock me that Brookfield is doing this. Brookfield clearly understands that design makes a difference. Their attitude about this experience is very progressive, and they're facilitating something that's quite exciting. Brookfield allowing us to really push the boundaries of design is amazing and a huge honor. I feel like what they're doing is definitely giving Houston an edge. This shows that they're a forward-thinking company, that they're willing to look at new approaches to bring excitement and buzz into the real estate market. I'm really excited, actually, to see at the end what everybody comes up with.